international repercussions continue. We're following it here. Israeli forces raided the Palestinian ruled West Bank of Ramallah in a pre dawn attack today, but Prime Minister Ariel Sharon pledged today to end military raids into Palestinian territory if Palestinian President Yasser Arafat calls an end to nearly a year of fighting. NBC's Donna Friesen is in Tel Aviv with the latest. Donna, good day. Good morning, Greg. Well, Ariel Sharon did say this morning that if there is complete quiet here for, tw for 48 hours, then he will allow the meeting between his foreign minister, Shimon Peres, and Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat to go ahead. The two were supposed to meet today to discuss a possible truce. Sharon canceled that meeting. Peres still wants that meeting very much. There are reports in one Israeli newspaper that he's considering resigning if the meeting does not go ahead. Peres believing very strongly that the lines of communication must be kept open. As for Yasser Arafat, he said this morning he is always committed to a ceasefire. The two leaders, Sharon and Arafat, almost like boys squabbling in the playground, saying, I'll do it if you do it, but no one actually does it. And any of the ceasefires agreed to in the past year, or almost a year now, of this conflict haven't lasted longer than a few hours. Arafat says, how can he agree to a ceasefire at this stage when Israel keeps upping the ante like they did last night? Uh, for the first time, Israeli forces entered the West Bank city of Ramallah, killing one man, injuring a about 25 others. It was lots of gun, gun, gunfire, and several Palestinians were arrested as well. Israeli tanks and troops entered Ramallah under the cover of darkness. The city, uh, it's important to note, is under Palestinian control. The Israelis have no legal right to be there. The Palestinians also don't have the firepower or the weaponry to defend against tanks and the U.S. made helicopters and missiles. That raid on Ramallah lasted four hours. The troops have since withdrawn from the city but remain on the outskirts. Ramallah, though, is now sealed off. No one allowed to enter or leave, and that has caused a lot of anger this morning at the checkpoints. Hundreds of Palestinians clashed with soldiers there. The Israelis say their attack was in response it was uh, there was a reason for it they say a response to a drive-by shooting in Jerusalem last night one Israeli man was killed and another injured so foreign minister Shimon Perez is to meet with Prime Minister Sharon today Perez trying to convince Sharon of the wisdom of holding those truce talks but Greg it seems the chance of talks taking place now seems as dim as ever uh, the London Daily newspaper and I'm, I'm just reading it here, Donna, had indicated that the Israeli Mossad, um, that is in charge of international intelligence, had warned the American intelligence uh, of a planned wide-scale terrorist attack. And in fact, as I understand it, a couple of the Mossad, the intelligence officers, came to Washington to uh, warn their, their counterparts. What more can you tell us about that? I can't tell you too much more about that. We've heard reports here in Israel that there were some warnings received by Israeli intelligence about possible attacks against the United States, but uh, Shimon Peres was one of the people who said that those weren't specific warnings. Now, there may have been more specific warnings that we have not been made aware of. If that's the case, if there were warnings given, um, obviously they weren't acted on, or perhaps the, it, was, it was too late for them to be acted upon, but uh, I can't give you any more uh, specific detail about that. What I can tell you about, Greg, is the, is the perception um, here in Israel that uh, Ariel Sharon now may be able to do whatever he wants to the Palestinians while the eyes of the world are focused on the United States. Some Israelis here believe now that the time uh, has come for Israel to crack down hard on the Palestinians. Some hardline analysts in the newspapers here saying it's time to do what the Israeli government has long wanted to do but didn't dare to, and that is destroy the Palestinian Authority and Yasser Arafat. Sharon has compared Arafat to Osama bin Laden. Another one of his ministers has said that the Palestinian Authority is the biggest terrorist organization. Even some of the left-leaning voices here are saying now is the time to strike with all of Israel's power. So the danger here is enormous that the situation could be further inflamed here. It's important to know that President Bush talked to Ariel Sharon on Friday, urged him to allow the meeting about a truce to go ahead. The last thing Bush and, and the rest of the world needs now, Greg, is a massive escalation of the conflict here in the Middle East. Indeed. Donna Friesen live in Tel Aviv. Donna, we'll check back with you. Thanks very much. Chris?